Yo, hello everyone. Are you in need of a convenient way to create and sign documents electronically? DocuSign is a popular solution for document management and e-signatures. In this video, we will walk you through the process of creating a document in DocuSign, adding signatures and sending it for sign-in. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is go to your browser, search for doc using. From here, all you have to do is click on doc sign and here it goes. Well, as you might know, doc sign is actually a paid platform. So in case you'd like to have any of their uh, like services or features, you'll have to pay. As you may notice here, there is the pricing, the product, you can check them out. But for now, let's try it for free and create our account for free. So I will create mine and be right back. So here we go, guys. I have finally created my account. So now all you have to do is drop here a document to get started. So you can click here and it will start creating an envelope. So here we can upload and draw files. So let's try to get like a PDF file, a PDF. Let's check if we can find any kind of these, um, blocks, give, something like that, PDF. Okay, let's try this view, how it looks like. Okay, this is a Squarespace uh, PDF, all right. Here, what I'm going to do is add recipient, for example. Here, where you have to put your recipient. So if there is anyone that has to sign it with you, you will have to add their names here and their emails. It will be obligation for you to write their correct name and email. So for example, if you were the only one who's gonna sign it, you can just click on the first check mark, or else you'll have to add someone else. So for now, I'm going to click on I am the only signer and then I'm going to the next step which is add message. In here, you can email subject complete with docus, uh, docusign terms.pdf email message. Please make sure to sign it for us to complete our deal. And when you are done, you can simply click on sign which is in the bottom of your browser. And here we go. DocuSign is currently loading. And please review and act on these documents. So let's continue. Here we go, this is the document. And if I went to the bottom over here, you will have everything that you have added to your documents. So everything is working perfectly. And now for us to add any signature, initial, stamp, anything, you can just click here and put a sign over here. So for the sign, it can be literally anything. You can choose here your full name and initials, for example, and it will be signed as you'd like. For example, here I'm going to write Lolly Lope. And this is a signature. So LP. And this is like how it's gonna be, look like. You can even draw it here, so something like that, or I don't know, something like that, and adopt and sign. And as you may notice, here it is the signature. It has been added successfully with a core, uh, a core code. And here you can just copy it if you'd like and keep pasting it on the other pages. So you can paste it, for example, here as well and we do it on the all pages that we have so we can have the signature correctly on any other page that we need if you are in need of any kind of initials you can even add them for example here uh, in the top of the page so let's click here add them here and let's see how we'd like them to be lp so i want it to be something like that and adopt initial and I'm going to add it in the top, as you may see here. Now for the stamp. The stamp has 
the same thing but for the stamp I think I'm going to make it on the writing so it's gonna look like a real stamp because so many people are actually stamping over the writing not in like the blank space so I'm gonna do that as well so here select stamp format enter your name for example Loli here so Japanese characters only if you already have a stamp select the upload tab name and date so for us we can just upload it or create one it is very easy so for us here we have lowly we have to choose either we want it horizontally or vertically and this is how it looks like lowly lope so let's use this for now make this my default stamp adopt and here we go so now we have a stamp that we can actually use on any kind of page so you can just copy this and paste it anywhere on any other page which is a really cool thing to do in case you didn't have a stamp a real stamp or kind of stuff like that and you might notice that everything has this blue mark and this in this uh, as a sign. So how can you remove it? To remove it, actually, you will have to go to the premium plan, which is simply by going and buy one of their plans. So if I click here on finish, so let me just wait a little bit. And I click on finish. Let's go and check their plans. So we can remove our, uh, like, their watermark so here as you can see personal you will have for ten dollars five envelopes per month reusable template and it doesn't have actually the removal watermark but for here we have customized branding so for here we can actually remove the watermark we can actually do our or, or uh, like sign signature or our stamp without having their watermark around our signature so this will save a lot of things like the, th the, the fact that we are not using a free toyo which will give us more confidence in ourselves and people will trust us more since we are actually getting a professional signature not a free like a platform signature or something like that which is kind of a shame for a big company to actually have and simply you just have to go for standards if you are just going to like sign and do some simple stuff if you are interested in like business pro or real tours you can go for them but instead of going for a monthly plan i highly suggest to go for annual plans so you can save up up to 44 percent of the money that you might have and if you'd like to compare the features of each plan you can go down below here and compare them all together so it's gonna be a simple process for you guys so yeah guys that was simply it that's how you can create documents sign documents and stamp documents on DocuSign I hope you like this video and if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section I will make sure to answer all of them one by one and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye